Kenya's textile and apparel sector has a great potential in supporting the country into its economic recovery. It is one of the pillars supporting the Big Four agenda, in particular the manufacturing sector. Here at Rivertex East Africa, work is going on. Workers are stitching, they are bleaching, they are producing garments and apparels that is going into the sector. We are seeing the purchasing of locally made materials and apparels taking shape. We want to understand the process, the thinking behind the great designs that we are wearing today. From Rivertex East Africa Limited here in Eldoret, join me. My name is June Chepkeme and this is June Chepkeme Special. She boldly forged her own career path. Her unwavering passion for fashion design enabled her to break out and succeed. From engineering to textile design. Meet Maria Chirono, one of the leading designers at Africa's top textile manufacturer, Rivertex East Africa, who is speaking to us today about her journey. My name is Maria Chirono. I'm an ordinary girl. I grew up in Nandi County and went to a school in Tarbo called Old Rosary Girls. Then I proceeded to Kapkenda Girls High School, which is in Keio County. After that, I went to University of Eastern Africa, Baraton, where I did my BST in electronics. The passion for design has been there since my childhood. I've always been a technical person, but I didn't really know if I could venture into design since I was more of an electronics person. After high school is when I started designing, uh, just drawing with pen and paper. And in campus, I could do cards, but, but not really, I was not serious about it. After my graduation, I came to Rivertex as a management trainee. After the first month in Rivertex, there was a training on, on an embroidery software. And we were about 15 people in the training, but it was a short training where we were, we were taught the basics of designing, of designing using the embroidery software so that later we can go and practice it on our own. So after the designing, I don't think, you know, designing is about passion. Mm -hmm. So most people are not interested, but I took the interest. I went, I did my research, I did the practice until after three months, I think I was a pro in, in using Welcome Design Studio. After the training in Wilcom Studio, I started doing the embroidery designs for Rivertex. So there was an opportunity for people to go to India to train in textile design. And I was given, I was one of the people who was given the chance to go and train in India. So you went to uh, India to, to study. How did your training in India, you know, enable you to be where you are today? In India, uh, we did, that's where I trained on the major softwares that we used in textile design, which is Illustrator, Photoshop, and TextCAD. So after, um, after my training, I came back and I was, I was assigned to come here to Design Studio. At the Design Studio, we do designs, basically textile design, which is majorly creating patterns for the fabrics. You know, a fabric, um, from its process up to the great cloth it's just a plain cloth very boring but for us we add them we make it attractive major designs that we do are the fukanga curtains kitenges tablecloths we even custom make any design as per the client's desire sharon where do you draw your inspiration that goes into the design that eventually is printed into a fabric our design inspirations comes from different things majorly culture and then again, we look at the season. Uh, we look at the, um, what is trending, what's happening. Like during this COVID period, we sat down and decided to come with um, with patterns relating to COVID. These are Corona-inspired kanga. Like you can see, we put a virus there. It was designed by one of our colleagues. This also looks like a Corona-inspired. Right? Yeah, this also that's also jumps jumps. And the one on top was one by the president. Oh, this one? Yeah, that's that pattern. Who designed this? I did. Oh, this is what you designed? Yeah. It actually looks lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have so many designs outside there. Mm, our 
our pride mostly is the president shirts. He really wears our fabric and it's it's become a trend and we are really we're really excited. We are happy that he, he puts on our designs. We do it as a team. We are a team of three designers and we do the consultation. I know someone may be wondering, does does the president choose the designs? No, he doesn't choose the designs, we make the designs and then we he selects, he just selects from our collection. So how does the Kenyan design differ from any other design? We like using small prints, so it's more of uh, with soft colors. Our designs are calm, soft and subdued. From the president, we have seen the general public embracing our shirts. We have the ministers, PSAs, CSAs, they, all, they have all come for our shirts. We really appreciate them and we feel proud, we feel good that they have done that. As a Kenyan, I mean, is it just a reserve for a few or how do I access your products? Everyone is welcome to our designs and our designs are in the major towns of which we are planning to also expand to other smaller towns of which if you go to our website, you will see where our shops are located at. We ca you can also make an order by just making a phone call and your, and your fabric will reach to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So Cherono, we are just uh, more a familiar of the shirts, the designs that go, it goes into the shirts that the dignitaries wear. What else do you do here at Rivertex East Africa? We have so many products, including kangas, kitengas, bed sheets. We also have flannels, baby flannels. We do hospital garments, we do tablecloths. These prints, these are our flower print for a shirt or a dress and also like this one this one is our camouflage this one is kenya air force but for the kenya air force we didn't create their designs they give us their design we traced and then we made so um kenyans are more known for wearing mitumba clothes and uh, there's already the perception that probably the fabric here are more expensive compared to options out there the perception that our products is expensive is just a lie. Our products are cheaper even than the Mitumba products and they are very good quality. Imagine buying a brand new cloth at a cheaper price than the Mitumba and you know it's good quality, it's going to last forever. Our cotton is one of the best in Africa and with using the, the raw material that is quality, you are assured that you are going to, end, to get an end product that is also quality and also with the designs that are originally Kenyan. Why not just embrace the Kenyan thing and be unique? By seeing people wearing my, my designs, I actually feel proud of myself as I, I didn't know that I will reach that point where, um, where I will see the president wearing my designs. Textile design is a very interesting job. You don't even feel like you're working. I actually don't have a job. I, I just do what I love. Most people think that designing doesn't have money and they, and they would like to go to more technical and they look at the profits, but I think at the end of the day, it's better you enjoy what you do and you live comfortably. Fashion fades, only style remains. That's according to one of the greatest designers, Coco Chanel. We've had a conversation with a designer herself who's taken us through the journey of creativity and how to bring out that particular great design that you like to wear. We have also seen that there are opportunities within the textile value chain. You can come in as a, as a farmer to come up with the raw materials, you can be the clothing designer, you can be the vendor, or you can actually originate great designs that can be adopted here and commercialized from Rivertex East Africa, here in Eldoret, to the world. Buy Kenya, build Kenya. Thank you for watching. My name is June Chepkeme and this is June Chepkeme Special.